video interfacing the thing to cayenne in this video we will learn the following how to add the thing to cayenne using the cayenne mqtt api how to write data to a channel on the cayenne dashboard let's go to the cayenne website now the link for the same is given in the resources section here you will be asked to enter your email id and password you first need to create an account with cayenne Click here to sign up. Now enter all your details and note down your email ID and password which you will be needing to log in. Once you have created your account, you need to go to the My Devices Kyen login page. Now enter your email ID, password and login. Firstly, you will be asked to choose your device which you want to interface and work on. As you can see, there is already pre-built support for the Raspberry Pi, Arduino and Lora. but you will not find the spark fun esp32 thing here you will need to manually add the thing as a device using the cayenne mqtt api now click here now as you can see there are a number of official sdks available for mqtt support the arduino mqtt sdk is one of them the cayenne arduino mqtt library contains functions and code which would help you to easily connect to the cayenne iot dashboard it has support for arduino microcontroller boards as well as other esp8266 and esp32 based development boards you can click here to access the github page for the same now let's go back to the arduino ide and see how we can install the cayenne esp mqtt library first you need to go to tools and manage libraries this will open up the library manager now search for cayenne you will find the cayenne mqtt library Now install the latest version of the library. Once installed, you are now ready to program the thing to connect to Kyen. Now let's look at the code to connect the thing to Kyen. This here is used to print out the debug messages like connection status, topic number and channel number of messages being published to and the actual data itself. Now this here is used to print out the general Wi-Fi credentials and the server with the port number to which the client is connected to. You can uncomment both of these here if you don't want to print the debug messages and general Wi-Fi status. Now here we import the Cayenne MQTT library for the ESP32. It contains functions which would enable you to send data to Cayenne as well as receive data. Now here you need to enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Now here you need to enter the Cayenne authentication information like the username, password, and client ID. You can copy the same. from the cayenne dashboard and paste it in the respective fields the client id is used to distinguish between different clients connected to cayenne now here we initialize the serial baud rate as 9600 now this is needed to connect to cayenne with the cayenne username password client id wifi ss id and wifi password you do not need the wifi.begin function here to connect to the wifi as the cayenne.begin function takes care of connecting to the wifi too Now we include the cayenne dot loop function here to execute all the cayenne functions repeatedly. Now the cayenne out default function is where you write data to the client. It is used to publish data in the form of messages to the cayenne broker and update the channel. In the cayenne dashboard, the channel is where your actual data gets displayed. Now the virtual write function is used to write data to the particular channel. In this case, being zero and the actual data to be sent. Here. we are just sending the time elapsed since the program started running this is given by the milis function which returns the time in milliseconds the general parameter format for the virtual write function is this if you need the full list of data types supported by the cayenne mqtt api you can refer to this cayenne community page the link to which is in the resources section now to read commands from the cayenne dashboard you will need to use the cayenne in default function we will look at how to use this in later videos now let's go back to the cayenne mqtt api menu here you can name the thing to whatever you want this will be displayed in the devices list now as you can see it is showing waiting for the board to connect now let's go back to the code and upload it once uploaded you can see that the mqtt connection to cayenne has been successfully established This is the Cayenne dashboard. Now in the devices list, 
you can see that our thing named myesp32 is now available. Here you can see that the channel 0 is showing the time elapsed since the program started. Now, if you look closely, you will see this message at the bottom. It shows the date and the time at which the last data packet was received. Now, you might notice one thing. The Cayenne channel receives the data packet about every 15 seconds. The reason is that the Cayenne out default function is designed to run every 15 seconds. Hence, the MQDT messages are published every 15 seconds to Cayenne. Currently, Cayenne MQDT messages are rate limited to 60 messages per minute, which means maximum rate of one message per second. If the client code tries to publish messages above this rate, it may cause messages to be dropped or client to get disconnected. We will look at how to set our own data rate in the upcoming videos. In this video, we learned how to add the thing to Cayenne using the Cayenne MQDT API. We also learned how to write data to a channel on the Cayenne dashboard. In the next video, you will learn about setting the message rate and creating a custom widget.